Hey, Internet people, how's it going? Guess what? It's raining again, again today. It's raining. I can't do what I would like to do because it's raining and wants to rain every day forever because the rain gods hate me. Anywho, so I have this, this little switch control panel. We're going to play with this because I really don't like how they have this thing set up, so we're going to make some changes. Okay, so here we are. We have our control panel. Panel. You have our voltage and voltage display. Then you've got two USBs, 2.1 amp, 1 amp. And then you've got a 12 amp uh, accessory, cigarette lighter style plug. That's what we have up top. And on the bottom, you have one, two, three, four, five, six switches. Uh, you guys have probably all seen these on the internet. Pretty common. The back is where it gets interesting. You have your three guys up top here are all controlled by one power source. So they run off one power source. Pretty simple. What I don't like here is all your switches. You have one, two, three, four, five, six switches. All of those are daisy chained together and they all run on one power source. So you have to limit your voltage across all six of these so you don't blow fuses. I don't like that. Um, good standard fuse you're going to find is going to be probably 30 amp fuse and you divide that by six that leaves you five amps each if you use them all. That's, that's garbage. I don't like it. We are going to change that. What we are going to do, see if I can get a little bit closer into here. These are daisy chained together. We're going to separate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to separate do it three and three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to find the wires in between here and we're going to cut them. That is what we are going to do. So I've separated these out just to make sure I'm not cutting the wrong wires because that'd be pretty dumb. And we are going to cut right here. And we are going to cut right here, leaving enough on these guys so we can tape them off. And this will be our new handy dandy circuit. Now, with this configuration, we have hot cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, positive, negative, yeah, I know, blah, 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 whatever. And that'll allow us to run on three circuits, or three switches on this circuit, three switches on this circuit, and then we'll have these three guys up here. So that is what we're going to do. Three, three, three. Okay, so I've capped these off so we don't burn anything up, and... I'm going to kick the camera around and we have our positive and negative here and essentially what I've done is I've wired in an inline fuse and fuse just goes in here. There, fuse is in, we're in. Cap over if you need a water resistant application. This is here, that will go to our hot that we cut. We'll run this in here, get that up in there nice and tight, crimp it down, and boom, we're good to go. Now, I'm going to get my awful tester that's about useless. I really should get some alligator clips or something. Um, a little easier to do this. This switch right here is uh, basically 12 volt from a generator accessory plug and I just have it on a 12 volt battery just to play with. Um, so what we're looking at is I'm going to connect hot and not. I'm going to connect these guys here and flip this over and we'll take a look at the other side of this panel. And when we flip that over you can see we're getting voltage is showing. This is our um, USBs are lit up and this doesn't do anything. Oh, there's actually light in there. Okay so the top works off of this top switch. Nothing on the bottom works. I don't have those powered. So now I'm going to unhook the top. That's done. That's good to go. We didn't interfere with any of that. These three switches here, we've divided these in half. You may be able to see it on here. 35 amps. I had it for a second. 35 amps, 12 volts. Each of these switches is rated for 35 amps. So what we've done here is where we've separated three and three. If you wanted to, you could separate every single one of these just like we did, cut it, put a fuse in it here, or run it to a fuse box. What I'm actually going to do is run these to this fuse box. That's how I'm going to do my thing. That way all your fuses are in one central location. 
but you can you can separate all of these out and run them all individually if you want any combination you want it just allows you to do more things as it is now instead of having 30 across you've got 30 and 60 so we've doubled our capacity just by dividing them in half so this we have our positive which will go to our positive and then we're going to hook positive and negative see if I can do this without burning anything up real quick just to flip this over and show you guys flip this over that powers these three switches on 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 good to go these nothing nothing and nothing on the other one because they are on the other cir other circuit so let's unhook this guy here and we'll move this and this is the original wiring that powered all six let's not cross our negatives and positives here there's a positive there's our negative we're wired in for this and that will cover this switch, this switch, this switch, not the switch, not the switch, not the switch. And that is pretty much how I'm going to run this. Most of these will just run LED lights, so I do not need high amperage, high power on this. But I don't want to limit each of these to 5 amps because you've only got 30 amps to use across 6 switches because that's how they have it factory. I don't like it. I'm not doing it. And you don't have to do it either and now you know how to do it if you have any questions ask somebody else because i don't know anything